Wow, real scary, dweeb. Did I get ya? Did I get ya? Beat it, bork chop. I'm trying to sleep. But it's 8am, come on, wake up, let's play a game. <sighs> hey mum, dad, what's for breakfast? How's it going? You're grounded. What? Why? I thought we told you to tidy your room. But Penny is always leaving her mess everywhere. That's it, always blaming me. But mum, I was meant to go and play with Z and Zuzi after school. Grounded. I can go out. Georgie, when you get home from school, you are grounded. It is as simple as that. Ah, oh, fine. Hmm. Hey, Peter, you need to come and see this. What is it exactly? I don't have my glasses with me today. A man's wife has fallen sick to that virus that was on the TV and they need volunteers to help test the vaccine. Do you know how dangerous that can be? We are not volunteering, absolutely not. But Peter, we could save someone's life. It says over 16, I'll do it. When did you get here? That's the spirit, that's my brave little girl. But do you know how serious this could be? Have you both never seen those movies where vaccines turn you into zombies? It's real, I tell you, real! Look, darling, we are only doing this to prevent people from getting this Linamuma disease. Linamuma? <laughs> Stop, you know I'm dyslexic, Penny. I don't think that this is a good idea. But please, Peter, I just want to help. <sighs> okay, I'll do it. Thank you, darling. You are doing a great thing for the community. Hey, Georgie, coming out today? I can't. My parents told me I am grounded. What for this time? For not tidying my room. You don't tidy your room? You're such a boy. Stop, my parents are so strict. Penny is clearly their favorite child. Well, they do say the first child is everyone's favorite child. Isn't that right, Z? Zuzi, Z doesn't speak. Exactly, so she can't argue back with me. She was born 18 minutes after me, so it's a win-win situation. Don't be so mean. Has your family figured out why she doesn't speak? Nah, I don't think so. I think she's just being lazy. Hmm. Oh, thank you all so much for volunteering to test out this vaccine. Don't worry, I have put my entire life earnings behind this cure, so you are in good hands. Let's just get this over and done with. Well, someone has had their straw house blown down by the big angry wolf. Look, honey, we can do this. We just need to give it a try. Hurry up already! Okay, okay, follow me. In here, everyone. Whoa, what's all this stuff? Leave it alone, please. Right, we must go through some legal documents. My personal assistant, Bunny, will go through that with you. Okay, class, what is five times three? Anyone? Ask Z. <laughs> Stop being so mean. Georgie, I'll ask you, what is five times three? Uh, 15? Very good. Zuzi, what is six times four? Me? Oh, uh, oh, uh, 18? 18? <laughs> Enough! Georgie, you will be staying behind for a detention. What? But, miss? No buts, you are staying behind. That's for making fun out of me. And that section there is just in case you lose a leg. Is everything clear? Where do I sign? Not so fast. Just out of question, if anything does go wrong, do we get compensated? Don't worry, we will take good care of that, but I'm confident in my researchers that the vaccine that they have made is top notch. Come on, Peter, let's just sign. But, but we, ah. Uh, okay, where do I sign? Susie, I am really worried. I have to stay behind for detention and I'm supposed to be grounded. So? My parents are going to think that I've gone out before going home. Oh, you're in trouble. Exactly. I'm going to be grounded for a week. Sorry, kid. I don't know what to suggest. It's fine. I'm just going to have to suffer with the consequences. 
It's okay, Georgie. At least now you know to never make fun of me again. <laughs> well, that was something. Is everybody ready? We have been ready for about two hours. Right. Well then, would you follow me? Okay, one by one, you will enter and we will sterilize the room. After that, you will be injected with substance 128. Is everything clear? I'll go first. And I'll go last. Okay, in you go then, Penny. I'm in, here we go. Hold very still, Penny. Psst! Whoa, I didn't feel a thing. Penelope, you are next. Hold very still again, please. Psst! Wow, you really don't feel a thing, honey. Wow. Of course, last one in is a rotten egg. Hilarious. Come on, pizza. Do it for me. I'm going. Leave me be. Alright, and stand very still. Psst! Miss Gladwin, how long do I have to stay for? One hour. One hour? But I haven't even told my parents that I have to stay behind. They're expecting me home any time now. Silence, please. <sighs> All done, everyone. How are we feeling? I feel great. I feel stronger than ever. I would have to agree. I feel much stronger, too. I feel like I could lift a car. Incredible. Positive results. It's a miracle. Mr. P, come in here. The pig family are showing positive results. They are already feeling much stronger. Incredible. We must give the vaccine to your wife immediately. Let's do it. You know, I'm glad we did that volunteering. I feel so much stronger. I'm so proud of you. I feel like I have done the right thing now. I was a little worried at first, but you pushed me out of my comfort zone. Now, hopefully that poor lady can recover. Researchers were really worried about this disease. It is so great to have finally had a breakthrough and to say that we were a part of that. Absolutely incredible. Mom, Dad, I have a really bad headache. A headache? Oh, oh. Uh. Don't worry, Peter. She is a teenager. She gets loads of them. But, Mum, this one is really bad. I feel like my brain is pulsating inside of my skull. Darling, you'll be just fine. Just take some tablets and go and have a sleep for a few hours before college tomorrow. Okay, please check on me later, just in case I've turned into a zombie. Right, Dad? Oh, right. Penny, stop winding your father up. Just go and sleep it off. I'm sure it'll be nothing. Okay, fine. Penelope, what if... Peter, stop panicking. Everything will be fine. <sighs> I wonder where Georgie is. He is supposed to be grounded and due to be home from school over an hour ago. If that boy has gone out... Hey guys, I'm sorry I'm late home. Miss Gladwin gave me a detention. What for this time? I laughed at Zuzi for getting a maths question wrong. Well, that's not very nice. Your sister is upstairs sleeping off a bad headache, so please don't bother her. Yeah, we did something today. What did you do? We went to volunteer. Volunteer for what? Basically, a deadly virus has been going around and all three of us went to volunteer for testing with a new vaccine. Wait, I think I heard about that. Didn't a potato man fund the cure for his wife or something? That's correct, Georgie. We went to volunteer to help test that cure. Oh wow, that's amazing. Have you not seen those movies where the vaccine testing turns you into a zombie? Georgie, yes, we have. We don't need to think of that right now. Why? Georgie, that's enough right now. Wait, Dad, you thought you might turn into a zombie? <laughs> I've seen the films, okay? One day it could happen. Well, let's just hope this isn't going to be one of those times, right? Right, Georgie, that's it. Go to your room now. You are supposed to be grounded. And don't disturb your sister. It's okay, I have homework to be getting on with anyway. Great, see you in a bit. Dinner shall be ready in about 15 minutes. Oh, awesome, what's for dinner? 
pepperoni pizza. Cannibalism, I love it. Would you like a cup of tea, honey? Sounds great. Breaking news, Lucella has entered dark times. People are dropping like flies due to the testing of Substance 128, created by multi-billionaire Mr. P. Hey, you know, I'm starting to get a bit of a headache as well now. Headaches are normal with this kind of stuff, darling. I have had one too, but it's nothing we need to worry about. But it doesn't feel like a normal headache. I am also really starting to get the sweats. These are all normal side effects. Please stop worrying. I really don't feel well. I feel like my head is about to explode. When should we start worrying? Okay, listen to me, both of you. We are completely fine. These are normal symptoms. If any of us start to deteriorate, we will panic then. Uh, I think I'm going to faint. Penny! Peter, go and grab me some water. Here you go. What is going on? Why have you... Uh, Hey Penny, you're awake again. Is your headache better? Mum and Dad told me you had a headache. He watches. Huh? Who is he? The man. He watches. I have no idea what you're on about. Is your headache better though? <sighs> hey Mum, Dad, is dinner ready yet? It's been almost 40 minutes. Dad, why are you sweating so much? Mum, is Dad okay? What is going on with you lot? Why are you all acting weird? He's coming. Coming from the underneath. Okay, this is getting super creepy now. I'm just going to go upstairs, do some homework. You guys enjoy being weird. Gordry, do you read? Gordry, I know. Hello, Georgie speaking. Who is this? That doesn't matter right now. Georgie, listen. You need to get out of here. Your family is infected. Turn the TV on. It's all over the news. But what's going on? Is it to do with the vaccine they volunteered for today? That is correct. Listen, very closely, Georgie. You don't have long. Your cellar is under attack. You need to get out of that house and run. Don't stop running for anyone. Anyone you come across, you make them say something. Symptoms are the infected are not talking. But my sister is talking. She is? Oh no, what do you mean by oh no? Georgie, your sister took the vaccine today. She should have lost her entire voice. But there are some out there that are speaking that are more powerful. Georgie, this is my last warning. You need to put the radio down and get out of there. Can I at least get your name before you go? Uh, you can call me X. Now go! Run, Georgie! <laughs>